So in this short video, I want to explain to you what happens with stress and how it actually increases your blood cholesterol. And not only that, I'm going to show you how it actually increases your blood pressure and promotes belly fat. So let's take a look at this and I find diagrams are a great way to teach. So let's take a look. As you can see, this bubble represents cholesterol. And the first question we should ask ourselves, where does cholesterol come from? What we do know and what the science shows, depending on your diet, your dietary intake of cholesterol is around 15 to 30% of all the cholesterol in your blood. Now, over the last 25 years, there's been a huge public awareness campaign, and most of us know we should try and reduce our cholesterol from our diet. But look at the numbers. 15 to 30% of dietary cholesterol contributes to the total pool of cholesterol in your body. So where does the other 70% or so come from? Well, would you believe that your body actually makes it? In your liver, your body makes cholesterol. So even if you reduced your dietary cholesterol to zero, your body will still produce it because we need cholesterol. So it's a yin-yang balance. Too high is bad, too low is bad. So your body makes cholesterol in the liver. So a question that probably just jumped into your mind is, how do we get rid of cholesterol? Because maybe you have high cholesterol and that's why you're watching this video. Well, cholesterol is eliminated in the body by bile acids, which they combine with fibers and then we eliminate them out. Fibers can also, and other substances, can also bind cholesterol uh, when we eat it. So you've probably seen the ads or you've heard about oat bran and uh, the fibers in that, how they actually bind cholesterol so we don't absorb it. So that's something we can do and that's, that's a positive first step. But let's go back and take a look at this. If we're trying to bring down our cholesterol, we could reduce our dietary intake of cholesterol. We can increase our fibers and that's gonna help, but we still have the abundance of all the cholesterol in our body being made by the liver. So a question we probably should ask is, what's promoting the liver to increase cholesterol? Would you be surprised to learn that it's insulin? That's right. That's the hormone responsible and important for blood sugar management and diabetes. So when insulin is elevated, it turns on an enzyme in the liver that increases cholesterol biosynthesis and that increases cholesterol. It also increases LDL production. And as you're aware, the ratio between LDL, the bad cholesterol, and HDL, the good cholesterol, is very important and insulin turns on this enzyme in the liver and increases LDL and cholesterol. So now let's work farther upstream, getting more to the root cause. What is it that drives up insulin? Ah, that's a great question, and there is not a simple answer. It's a compounded answer, so let's take a look. What we know is that high glycemic index carb diet, so these are the simple sugars, fruit juices, sport drinks, simple sugars that we might put in our coffee, um, white bread, refined grains, and so on. These are the things that spike blood sugar and then your body releases a lot of insulin to bring down the blood sugar. And remember, one of the roles of insulin is it causes the body to store calories and store fat. Oh, well, that's not too good. So high glycemic carbs, the carbs that um, spike your blood sugar. Now, there's something else. If you have certain nutrient insufficiencies, insulin doesn't bind properly or work properly in the body, and that can elevate it as well. So we just saw that high carb diets increase insulin. What else? Well, believe it or not, lack of sleep actually increases insulin. And the current studies are really clearly showing this that if you reduce your sleep to just about six hours a night for a week, you can actually turn your body into almost a pre-diabetic state and insulin gets highly spiked. And again, turning on the liver enzymes, increasing cholesterol. Is there anything else? The story's gonna get a little bit worse. We haven't talked about stress yet. Ah, stress actually directly in, uh, uh, 
opposes insulin's action. Chronic stress tries to increase blood sugar. Insulin tries to bring it down. So if you're stressed for a long time, that actually increases your insulin, turns on the liver enzymes, increases the cholesterol. Now look at this, this interaction, and this is why this is so cool to understand. Chronic stress also affects your sleep. And if you don't sleep right, that increases your stress. Can you see how these components work together? So what I can look at is how sleep, stress, and insulin all work together to drive up cholesterol. Now what else? Well, chronic stress by itself actually increases cholesterol. So it's working on a couple different mechanisms to drive up cholesterol. So quit fooling yourself. Stress plays a big role in elevated cholesterol, blood pressure, and belly fat. And if you want to bring down your cholesterol and blood pressure, you got to get your stress under control. So you can continue being stressed, overwhelmed with high cholesterol, blood pressure, and belly fat, or go over to stressreductionstressrelief.com and check out all our free resources, watch the many videos we have, read some of our reports, and you can do this all without spending any money. So click on the link below in the description and start reducing your stress right away.